All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Our praise is on the glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makakodash, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. Salutations to you, sincere and humble, Akim on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and truth and sincerity through the spirit and power, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. For the Jim Mass Memphis Camp, I am the brother Tazmak to my right. Zahab, Anna. All right. And we're just doing a live show dealing with the name, all right, that was given unto us to call the Most High Man. All right. As you see the title of the live show, this is his name forever. All right. And in a nutshell, you know, I just want to give you a quick, a quick uh, a reason for this lesson because I was approached by a member of uh, GOCC, man, who, uh, you know, came to bid to me to join their congregation, man, all right? And the first thing that I got on him about was that name. Now, of course, you know, uh, uh, for you brothers that are in the know, all right, GOCC, all right, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're apost uh, I don't want to say apostle, but they're head of their camp, all right? Their leader came out of One West, man, all right? Just like ISUPK, all right, uh, IUIC, all right, HOI, all right, <clears throat> and of course, Great Millstone. And the name, all right, that we learned under that, uh, uh, that our elders learned under One West to call on the Lord was Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. And, you know, after the split, they fell off and they came back teaching in his name, Ahia, all right, which Ahia indeed is the Lord's name, all right. But it's not the name that he gave for us to call on him by. And we're going to get into why. OK. All right. Because a uh, 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 higher means I to be. I am. All right. In first person. OK. And Yahweh means he to be. He exists. He is. OK. Which is how we are to call upon the Lord's name. man. You understand that all names have meanings and the meaning of the names is the significance. All right. When you speaking in the Hebrew. All right. And without further ado, okay, we're going to get into Exodus. All right. Three. All right. Where the Lord is uh, giving his name to Moses and he's given the name to call uh, on him by to Moses, man. All right. So let's go. Let's start with Exodus three. And uh, 13. Um, let's see. That's yeah, let's start with Exodus 3 and 13. All right, Exodus 3 and 13. And Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The Most High of your, or the power of your fathers, hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, what is his name? So Moses, all right, had just uh, 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 had his first, basically, encounter with the Lord, all right? And this is when he had uh, uh, fleed Egypt, all right? And uh, uh, he had left out of Egypt on account of him uh, slaying those Egyptians for persecuting his brethren, man. And then the Most High came came through him, uh, uh, in the appearance of a fire and a bullish man. All right, and Moses is asking the Lord because the Lord is, is is ultimately telling Moses that I'm going to deliver my people out of the hand of the Egyptians through you. All right, so he says, "Well, when I go to the children of Israel, what shall I tell them? Your name is all right, which we just." explaining it to you what's going on in simple terms all right go ahead bro what shall i say unto them and the most High said unto moses i am that i am so right here in verse 14 it says and the most high said unto moses i am that i am all right uh brother uh can you you got your phone uh nah all right uh go to the blue letter real quick all right so in the hebrew i am that i am all right 
is Ahaya, Ashar, Ahaya, okay? Now, I is first person, all right? The Ah in the Hebrew, the, the Hebrew character Ah is one and it's first person, man. Now, Am, all right, is higher, which means to be, all right? So the Lord said unto Moses, I am that I am. But this is not him telling Moses the name uh, to give the children of Israel to call upon, uh, uh, to call upon, man. That's him making the statement and making himself known to Moses who he is, man. All right? Your brother got that uh, I am that I am? No, uh, it's H-19, sister one. It means higher. Higher. Now, higher just means uh to be man yeah, exactly. okay now when, when you put the i on the front it means i so a higher i to be the lord was making himself to Mo known to moses and, and let moses know who he is now let's continue on it says and and he said thus shalt thou say unto the children of israel i am hath sent me. i am I am hath sent me unto you. All right. So he told Moses, tell the children of Israel, I sent you unto me. Okay. I sent you unto me. Well, I, I, I sent, yeah. I sent you. Okay. So tell the children of Israel, I, I sent you. Now, let's read verse 14. And I want you to... Uh, Go to verse 15 in the blue letter and get the word that's going to come up more over. All right. So verse 15. And the most High said moreover unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel. So the most High said moreover. All right. This is what you shall say unto the children of Israel. Now, let's see what the word moreover means, because you seem uh, uh, to have these. Uh, guys at GOCC, they just completely overlook more over. All right. Okay. And more over would be like uh in today's uh grammar what they call a conjunction or or uh an add on. Okay. Now let's let's get more over. Yep. And the Hebrew is H spot fifty seven fifty. And Hebrew is Awad, which means still yet again besides again, all right. So again Besides, go ahead. Um, moreover, since a good while longer else. Besides, yep. Okay. So, bes besides, besides what I just said, go ahead. Um, uh, but, but, <laughs> but, which is what a conjunction, man. Um, go ahead, bro. Henceforth. Henceforth. <laughs> henceforth. All right. Now, henceforth me from this point forward. Right now, when we go into the contents of this scriptures, there is no other account in the scriptures where the children or any son uh, of, of Israel. All right. All right. Has called the Lord a higher. All right. It said henceforth from this point forward. Moreover. All right. So now we got the understanding. I watch. Which that's the Hebrew word for moreover. We got the understanding of I wad. So furthermore, henceforth, continue on, uh, Zahab, Baba Kusha. It says, and the Most High said, moreover, or henceforth, <laughs> unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, power. Read it verbatim. All right, the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Has sent me unto you. All right, hold. Now, thus shalt I say unto the children of Israel, henceforth, thus shalt I say unto the children of Israel, the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Let's let's get that in the blue letter. Uh, in the blue letter, uh, H thirty six to eight, which means you how Okay. Now go into it. The existing one, you know. Go, go more. The proper name of the one true power. The proper name. Proper, all right? 
which is how we are to properly appropriately call on the name of the Lord, man. Because if we're going around saying a higher, indeed, we are saying what I am, okay, versus he is, man. All right. Um, we're giving ourselves the glory if we're saying we're saying I to be, and we're not, we're not the existing one. But it should say something about to be in there. You see it? Um, uh, let me see. To be. Now you say some um, the self existent or eternal. Let me see it. Okay. No, he's a listen to that. But. You go to the Strongs, click on that, you go back to Hayato. Right. Right. Yeah, so when you go back to, to the uh, to the Strongs, it's to be, become, come to pass, exist. All right? So right. to be. So it does mean he to be. So it's the proper way that we say the Lord's name, man. He to be versus I to be. Because now you're saying you are the most high if you say a higher man. Right. All right. Now let's finish that off and then we're gonna we're gonna further prove, continue to lay lay down the law, as brother uh, the Ba always say. Uh, yeah, because because if Moses came to Israel, he said a higher, that'd be saying, I'm I'm about to free Israel. Right. But no, he didn't do that. He said, he said, Yeah, how is he gonna lead us out? You know, I came in the I come in the name of the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. Um continue on. Yeah, 15. finish 15 off. All right. Start back at the at the Lord, and now you can use the name. Okay. I'll just start from the top. Okay. Uh, Exodus 3 and 15. And God said, moreover, unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel. Yeah, how the power of your fathers and the power of Abraham and the power of Isaac. And the power of Jacob has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. So he never said, he he never said for Moses to tell them uh, uh, uh in first person. He never told Moses to be the representation of him, you know, just tell him you I am, you know. He said, Tell him he is. He is to be. He is the existing power of your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right. This is his name and memorial forever. Now let's get uh Exodus 6 and 3. All right. Because this is a scripture that uh, you know, these guys at GOCC try to use to say that that that's not the Lord's name. See, uh, it said his he wasn't known. By this name, and I now you get Genesis two and seven. Go uh, ahead, uh, 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 Exodus six and three. And I appeared unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of uh, God Almighty, which in the Hebrew is Alashadja, which means terrible demon-like power, man. All right, because what was the Most High up until uh, uh, that point? What what was one of the most uh, 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 dramatic or terrible events he was known for wiping out uh, 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 her earth, man. All right, okay. So the Lord said, "Read." It says, uh, "By the name of God Almighty, Allah Shadia, uh, but my name Yahweh was not known to them." And when you go into that word known, it doesn't mean that that name didn't exist. All right. Like that name was known, but it wasn't well known. When you go into the Hebrew, it means well known, man, because you have the Lord's name. All right. In, in Genesis, uh, uh, the second chapter, it appears for the first time in the seventh verse, man. All right. Because when you see Lord in all caps, it's Yahweh. Go ahead, bro. And Shalom to you, Akim on the comment boys. They're uh, Kalabia. Yeah. Kahn, Kahn. And, Shalom. And uh, uh, yeah, how was it from Hawaii? Okay. Shalom. 
Shalom Akim. All right. Y'all about shim Josh Brock Verse four. And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. Okay, and that, that was the point in uh six and three. Now let's get uh Genesis uh two and seven, because this is actually the first time that the Lord names the Lord name appears in the scriptures in Genesis uh two and seven, I believe. In Genesis 2 and 7, it's saying the Lord power for a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Right. So that's the Lord there is all caps, which is Yahweh, man. Okay. The Lord said, This is my name, all right, forever. All right. So it always had been the Lord's name, Yahweh, man. Okay. But before the Lord had actually uh, uh, made it a commandment unto Israel, this is what, what you shall call me uh, through Moses. All right. They they were uh, referring to him as al All right. And basically uh, 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 titles, which 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 because your name represents you, man. All right. That's why the Lord said his word is above his name, man, because ultimately that doesn't mean that he doesn't have a name and we don't know his name. All right. Because just like those cats at uh, IUIC, they know the name that they were taught under their elders at One West. All right. They know the name. They just choose not to call upon them those names doing a uh, uh, wickedness, man, being wicked, man. OK. So uh, your brothers had some. Uh, I had a clip. Man. Go ahead, brother. It's Psalms 135 and 13. Thy name, O Lord, endure forever. In that, in that memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. Thy name endures forever. So it's not like when the Lord came to Moses and told him his name and the name to call uh, uh, to call him by. He just had just made his name up. Like, okay, I'm going to give him a name. Like, that's always been his name. You know, Yahweh has always been his name because his name represents him. He is the existing one. All right. Yep. All right. He exists. The Lord is everything. He's always been the Ah and the Tha, man. The beginning and the end, man. The Alpha and Omega, man. All right. That's first person. That's him speaking. That's him calling upon himself. All right. It, it wouldn't have made sense for when Moses to ask him what his name was for him to say uh, Yahweh, because Yahweh means he is. So even like who is. So the Lord just told him straight up, I am. Okay. You got to understand the meaning of the name is what we're trying to uh, 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 tell you is what the Lord is saying. He's saying, I am, I to be, okay? And when you're saying uh, uh, words, words have meanings. So if you're saying a higher, all right, if you're saying a higher, you're saying that you are the most high, which is blasphemy, all right? Sorry. Let's get, uh, what you got, Zah? Nothing, I am just... Reading the comic board. Yeah. Okay, let's go uh with that Exodus. Uh what you got uh I not Baba Kusha. Exodus. Okay, come. This is the book of Exodus, uh 23 and 21. Yeah, Exodus 23 and 21. It said, Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not part of your transgressions. For my name is in him. For my name is in him. All right. Now, that angel, because it's talking about an angel, right? Yeah. That, that, that angel is talking about Yahweh Shah. And that's the spirit, because I just did a spiritual breakfast on, on that very scripture this morning, man. So uh, the angel is talking about Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah, guess what? Has always been too, man. All right. Yeah. He He's the first spirit created. All right, uh, uh, through Yahweh, the only spirit created through Yahweh to be exact. That's why he's called the only begotten man. He is that angel that we are to listen to. So his name is important. And what did he say? What did the Lord say about uh, 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 his son's name? Read it again. He said, um, beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not part of your transgressions. For my name, for my name is in him. My name is in him. All right. Now let's bring this to life. All right. Get 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 what you got wrote out. Uh, 
And uh, you're going to have to get down there and make sure they can see it. And we're going to watch you on the comment board. I mean, we're going to watch you on the live feed. All right. So now we have wrote out the names of the Lord that was given unto us. All right. Now you have on one side, all right, the name Yahweh, and on the other side, the name Ahia. And you have uh, uh, under it Yahweh Shai, all right, under Yahweh. And you have Ahia under uh, 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 you have Yeshia, Yeshia under Ahia, right? Now, I'm going to read this scripture that the brother just read again, because the Lord said that his son's name is in him, all right? Because we know through the spirit that the angel that the Lord is speaking about in Exodus the 23rd chapter is Yahweh Shai, man, okay? Now, read it again, all right? And I want you to point to the name, all right? Uh -huh. All right, this is Exodus uh, 23 and 20, uh, 21. Beware of him and obey his voice, all right? Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression. For my name, Yahweh, Yahweh. <laughs> give him the, break it down. Yahweh, you know, Yah is he, and Yahweh, uh, you know, is, uh, is this, you know? Huh. Plain and simple. So Yahweh, my name. All right, which is the Lord's name. My name is in him. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, you know. Yah is he. Yahweh Shai, you know, with deliver. Right. You know, Plain this, and simple. That's the Lord, Lord and Savior's name. That's the Lord and Savior's name. All right. And that's his father's name is in his name. All right. Because you see the Yah character. Uh, 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 and the high characters in his name, man. Yeah. All right, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. When you say uh, 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 the Messiah's name, you're also saying uh, 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 the, the Lord's name, man. Yeah. You're also saying the Father's name because he said his name is in him. Now, let's try this same thing. Let's see, can we bring this scripture to life with a higher? Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. plain. You see yeah. it, but just break it down for him. Yeah, higher. That means to be. Uh, that just means to be. That means I am to be. Yeah, I am to be. You All right. And, and Yeshaya, Yeshaya means Yeshaya. Save, you know? my, my sa my my savior. My savior. All right. My save. salvation. And you don't. That's not in a uh, uh, Yeshaya. Is not in a higher man. Okay. All right. You you can't extract a uh, 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 a higher from Yeshaya. Come. But you can extract Yahweh from Yahweh Shai. Yeah, they just like uh, juniors, you know. They give you like uh, right. <laughs> your father, you take on your father's right. name, you become a junior. Right. Your name is in him. because yeah. Yahweh is he is to be, and Yahweh Shai is he is salvation. I should have had you wrote out what 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 it means, but it's all good explaining it. Okay. Come. So you see these scriptures. Hold up, some. Oh, you see these scriptures come to life. Now, we got one more, all right? Let's go to Psalms chapter 76. The Lord said, these words I speak unto you, they are, uh, uh, are spirit in truth, man. They are life, man. Okay. So, hey, how do we know that we have the 100% the, the truth here in Great Millstone? Because when we go into these scriptures, these scriptures come to life, man, all right? They are manifested and made true before your eyes, man. So this is Psalms 76. So lock it, bro, with me. This is Psalm 76 and 1. And Judah is, is the most high known. In Judah. Okay. Now, how you say Judah in the Hebrew? It's Yahweh. Now, you can go and ask this same question to a GOCC member. How do you say Judah? In the Hebrew, they're not going to say Ahayada. They're going to say Yahawada. Okay? Now, let's read the scripture. In Judah, Yahawada is the most high known. Okay? Now, when you say Yahawada, what do you have to say at the beginning? Yahawah. Yahawah. All right? So, the most high name is known in Judah, man. And it says, his name is great in Israel. 
Furthermore, which I, I could have had you write this one now too. Verse two in Salem, all right, which is Jerusalem, also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. All right. Now it says in Jerusalem. How do you say Jerusalem in the Hebrew? Yerushalayim. All right. Yerushalayim. All right. Now, the Lord's name uh, uh, in the shortened form is Yah. Okay. And this is scripture. I can't call it to mind uh, that it says extol him, Yah. Uh, 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 I, I can't think of where it said. Like, yeah, you them. know what I'm talking about? Um, you got something, bro? Uh, no, nah, you, you can keep going. Okay. But yeah. anyway, a brother know what that scripture is I'm talking about. You can put it on the comment board or leave it in the comments. All right. But uh, the short the short form of, of the Lord's name is Yah, man. Yeah. Now let's 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 read verse 70, uh, uh chapter 76, verse 1 again. It says, His name is great in Israel. How do you say Israel in Hebrew? Yah Sharala, man. Okay. So the Lord name is He exists, man. He to be, man. And He exists within His people, man. He is made known amongst his people. And, and starting with the top tribe and the king of the top tribe, Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Da, man. All right. So this is plain, man. This is plain. Besides that, you're good, bro. You can come back. You can come back to formation. You can get back. You know. Oh, okay. uh, this is this, this is plain in the scriptures that the Lord name is Yahweh, especially considering that there is no other account. There's no other account in the scriptures where a, 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 a prophet or a man of the Lord pray to the name Ahia, man. It's always the Lord God in all caps, man. Plain and simple, man. You know, you can get Psalms 83 and 18. If you got something already, you can bring that out and then bring out Psalms 83 and 18. Yeah, I, got, I got two quick ones. Okay, uh, go ahead, this bro. Is Proverbs, this is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Right. You know, but y'all aren't calling on the right name, so y'all aren't safe. Right. right. And that, like this brother mentioned, that name, Ahia, uh, you know, <clears throat> GOCC, they fell off for a while and came back preaching a different name. Preaching a different name, so man. Th this is Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Because y'all don't want to come into the knowledge that Yahweh is the true name. Y'all don't want to do the research saying Yahweh is the uh, true name. Yahweh Shai is the true name. All right, verse 3. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem mm -hmm. So y'all don't want to submit saying y'all can't just humble yourselves and do, do a little bit of research and discover the true names. No, y'all want to come out at a different angle. Y'all want to establish your own righteousness. Pride. You know? Through pride. Through pride. Because you, you want to be, you want to be, uh, uh, you want to be the chief, all right? You want to be the uh, the elders of all of Israel. You want to seem as if uh, you're you're the uh, the hierarchy, man. God, all right? And, and, and <laughs> I got another quick one. Okay. Real quick. Let me let me finish all my right. point, Baba like Busha. All right. Now that pride, that pride, man. All right, the most high hates, the most high hates, man. All right. Now you went on to establish establish your own your own way, man. That wasn't that wasn't what you was taught, man. Okay. And now you have furthermore went on to deceive uh uh uh, uh those men up under you, man. Okay, and that go for you too, IUIC. All right, because you know the name, you know that and and, and G O C C you know name too, man. You niggas just being wicked, man. All right. And the Lord and most high is going to destroy you for that, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't repent, all right, and, and turn back, man, you know, mm -hmm. then the scriptures speak about uh, those trying to come up uh, another way, man. All right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is back in Proverbs chapter 18, but it's verse two. A fool hath no delight in understanding but that his heart may discover itself. And it's the spirit that y'all are calling on the name Ahia because you're saying I am to be. That's a proud spirit. Yeah, right? you're, you're, you're actually, you know, worshiping yourself. You're blaspheming. You're, you're going to establish your own righteousness. Yep. So you're not 
submitting yourself to he. You exist of yourself. Yeah. yeah. You exist of yourself. We exist of him. All right. We exist of your how. All right. We're giving the glory to him, man. You're calling on a higher. You're giving the glory to yourself. You're using that name, a higher. You're giving the glory to yourself, man. Yeah, that same proud spirit saying, oh, I found God. No, you didn't. Uh, and and we, we didn't either. All right. The most high chose us. Like, mm -hmm. like the scriptures say, you know, you uh, can say that. Psalms, Psalms 83 and 18. Go ahead, bro. I'll bring this up. Now, this Psalm 64, sing unto the most high, <laughs> sing praises to his name, and store him that ride upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. By his name, Yah, man. Son, and you go into the word Yah, it's H3050. It's contraction for your Howard, you know? Ooh. You look at contraction of me. Uh, Short form. Short yeah. form. Slang. Like slang. we're talking that camp. Yeah. yeah. You know, Jake likes to talk slang, which is short for short language. Yep. Yeah. All right. Which, which if, if, if you have, uh, if you have knowledge of his true name, it is okay to say yeah, but not if you're saying uh what's what's what because it's it's uh you got different uh camps that say uh Yahweh Yahweh yeah it's not Yahweh you know because um, you, you you have to have the full name all right but Yah is short for Yahweh yep. yeah right really really Yah isn't isn't his true name either. It's it's another title, you know, like we call him Abba, we call him Allah, but if we want to, but we don't pray to the name, just, just the title that we give. Yeah. Well, Yah is the shortened form of his name, right? Form. right? But just going back to Psalm 76 and 1, he said his name is great in Israel, man. So when you're saying, uh, I, 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 is not Israel his? Right. What does Yahshua mean? Yah is what? He. Who's he? Sha'ala, his prince, all right? The princes of God, man, Come on. all right? Come on. I, I can bring this up. Y'all, 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 Rashalom, his dwelling, man, his habitation, man. Come on. Yeah, it's, uh, also, you go into it, it said the proper name of the one true power, you know? Mm -hmm. Same thing with your Yahweh name, you know? He is to be, man. Mm -hmm. So the true name of the Most High, it's Yahweh, man. It's Yahweh, man. Hey, this is true name. His name ain't God, because it's just a title, you know. Mm -hmm. The Most High, you know. His name is Yahweh, you know. Right. They say there's uh, no other name on the heaven that you should be saved, man. All right. So what is Matter his fact, name? Get that Acts, Acts 4th chapter first. That's, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. And that, and that was my main point, which I already knew about these dudes, man. All right. But I, I, was, I was just being subtile, man. Wise as a serpent. And harmless as a dog, man. I didn't come out proud. I wanted to see. I wanted to see how far he was into his into this madness, man. You know. Yep. And and I knew that the first way that I I was going to attack him was through the name. And I'm gonna tell you the, the the spirit that was so proud on this dude that after I revealed to him, look, man, I'm I'm, I'm GMS and the, and, and GOCC, man. They going off on that name. I said y'all the only camp that came out of one west that's calling on a higher. I said, maybe you should think about that, man. All right. Maybe you should think about that. So he went on in conclusion to, to tell me, man. All right, man, I believe on a higher star, higher woo, woo, woo. And uh no matter no matter what, uh nothing's gonna change my mind. That's a proud spirit, man. That's a proud spirit, man. And I cut him because I went on to say, I said, I tell you what, man, I, I never say no matter what. I can say no matter what, I want the truth. All right. And that's where we stand here at Great Millstone, man. So if it ever came to not, not, which is not that the Lord's name is not Yahweh, all right? Because we know that the Lord's name is, he is, he exists, and his name is Yahweh, man, okay? Uh -huh. So if it ever did, though, we want the truth, man, all right? Because uh -huh. soon the Lord is going to come back. And he's gonna he's going to make it known who got it right, man. Uh, Cause it's somebody in this earth that's bearing true witness to Yahweh Hashem of the Most High, man, and and our representation and ambassadors of Him and His name, man. All right. Uh, what it say? I have no greater joy to see my children walk in truth. That's right, you bro. Know? 
And also, on Zephaniah said, I would then turn the language to a pure, a pure tongue, tongue, a pure tongue. To call on him with one consent. You know, it's that pure tongue, the Hebrew, man. Yeah. You know? But we got to have, we got to, uh, through faith and through the spirit of the Lord, all right, we have to come to establish what his name is, man. And we at Great Millstone, if you can receive it, all right, we have established his true name and his doctrine to the to, to, to the 100% uh, uh, truth, man. All right? Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Acts chapter four, verse eleven. This is the stone which, uh, which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So the name is given. In John seventeen, he said he manifested his name. All right. Which he made his name known, man. All right. So the Lord's name is known in the earth. The question is, who has it right? All right. Um, and when the day comes, everybody's gonna be calling on the name that they believe. Can a brother get uh Proverbs 12 and 15? Everybody's gonna be calling on the name that they believe for because everybody in their mind believes that they have have, have the right. Doctrine, yep. have the right name, have the right understanding, you know. So 12 and 11, 15. Uh, Proverbs 12 and 15 says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, <laughs> but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. So he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise, not going about to establish his his own. That's 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 uh that's the heart of a fool, all right. So the counsel of the Lord has been set up here on earth, man, through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man, who are uh uh the the true leaders of all Israel, man, all right. Our elders never fell off, man. You know, they they continued in the things uh uh, uh which they were taught to, man, the things that were right. All right. And in that they became wiser than the men that 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 that, that, that taught them, man. You know? Because you will say, well, man, they ain't they you had those scoffers out there, man. They ain't uh following uh uh Ariya no more, man. High priest Ariya. Or what well, about I, the 2K prophecy? Yeah, yeah. But they don't know that that was actually a prophecy within itself. Yeah. You know? that, that, that was, was a, supposed to happen. That was supposed to happen, man. It's a eyes uh Shall decide to see the day of the Lord and they shall not see him, man. All right. It's roughly paraphrased. I mean, but that's pretty much it, man. You know, you get that Psalms 83 and 18, Bible Kushai. What you got, bro? No, I can't, I can't call it scripture. That's okay. We'll we'll finish on Psalms 83 and 18. All right. All right. This is uh Psalms chapter 83, verse 19. 18. 18. Yeah, there is no 19. It's like you. It says that men may know that thou whose name alone is Yahweh art the most high over all the earth. That men may know. Read it again. All right. It says that men may know that thou whose name alone is Yahweh. That men may know whose name alone is Yahweh, man. All right. His name is Yahweh, man. It didn't say I am right there, right? Because the Lord is making his name known and the way that you are to give him respect by calling on him is to say he is, man, Yahweh. Okay. The Lord didn't authorize you to be proud, all right? To give yourself his glory, man. And y'all some damn fools for following these people, man, all right? That's plain, man. That's plain, man. But you know that delusion that the Lord, that's why it says not all Israel, uh, Israel have not obtained that what he's seeking for and not uh, uh, is, all Israel is not of Israel, man. You know? And it's easily seen of the, this. these scriptures are easily seen of those that really love the Lord, man. You know? It's so easily seen that sometimes we ourselves be like amazed at how they don't see it. It's like, how you don't see this, man? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, it's like, 
The letter J wasn't invented till the what 1500s. 1600s. You tell them that they still call on Jesus. Yep. There's no self in they, they'll quote the same scripture. There's no salvation in any other name, and they still think it's Jesus when it was clearly made up in the 1600s. Yep, and that just comes to show us how powerful the Most High is, man, because there's nothing that we can do to bring them out of that de deception and delusions, you know, because if the Lord don't want you to get it, you're not going to get it, man, all right? And if the Lord has it for you, nobody can take it away from you, man, Right. you know? But yeah, well, that, that was it. What you, you said something, bro? No. Okay, okay, come. All right, so with that, all praises, honor, and glory. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makakodash, the honor to our apostles, and there's a great millstone. Shalom, Labakayim. Shalom. Quam Yasharal. Quam Yasharal.